Pre-pandemic-related school lunches are going to come to an end next month. For the past two years, a federal program allowed all students to eat for free while at school. However, with Congress choosing not to extend the program, it's bringing up the topic of food insecurity in the River Valley and Northwest Arkansas. Yeah, Five News reporter Michael Wilson explains how severe the problem is and what's being done about it. Whether or not you realize it, your neighbor is very likely struggling with uh, hunger or their kids might not know where dinner's coming from. Congress has really failed kids and families on this and um, also uh, by extension they have failed our schools, our whole school systems. Why can't you vote to feed children while they're in a public school, a school that they are legally required to go to? Bentonville mom Alicia Briggs has a 14 year old son with autism and understands the struggles parents go through to take care of their children. We're talking about children. These are our kids. We don't have to worry about losing a necessity to cover another necessity. But she is thinking about those who will once they have to pay for school lunches again as prices rise. But we're, we're still dealing with inflation and will be for a long time, I'm pretty sure. She says despite big name companies in the area, food insecurity is real. People up here may have good looking paychecks on paper, but you combine that with the high cost of living, they're bumped out of a program that they desperately need for their children and their children's success. If we know that we need school buses, we know that we need notebooks and, and pencils at schools, and then we also know that we need meals at schools. Uh, we are long past the argument over whether we need to be providing school uh, meals at schools for hungry kids. Laura Kellams is with Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families, and according to AACF, more than half of the children in our viewing area qualify for free or reduced lunch, including Greenwood mom Carol Andrews' two kids who use their savings to supplement the family budget. I've got a husband who d does accounting for a living, so he's really good at budgeting money. Now the Andrews and other families will have to readjust to the increased cost. So we just always tried to keep the budget with what it was going to be if it didn't exist. That's why people like Coleman Warren are working to combat the problem. I'm actually graduating in like four days. The U of A senior started a food truck with the mission to address food insecurity in Thank Arkansas. So and so I wanted to bring the incredible ice cream, artisanal ice cream to Fayetteville, but also have it make an impact on the status of hungry kids in Northwest Arkansas. Taking the profits from this food truck and giving it to nonprofits like the Northwest Arkansas Food Bank. He's on track to provide more than 35,000 meals since opening in 2019. The ultimate goal is to get food to the people who need it most, including those struggling to feed their children. How is a kid supposed to focus on their education, on their homework, on following their dreams, on what even having dreams in the first place, whenever they're not sure where their dinner might be coming from? Covering news where you live. Michael Wilson, 5 News. Now that ice cream truck is located at 529 North College Avenue in Fayetteville. And with the free program ending soon, AACF says this will impact schools because they won't get reimbursed as much despite rising food costs. And families have to reapply for the original free and reduced lunch program starting in July for this upcoming school year.